Intro introduction to electrotherapy. This lecture will go over the principles of electrotherapy and we will talk about some rules of thumbs for applying electric uh, electrotherapy uh, for different um, uh, therapeutic uh, purposes. Now, electrotherapy is the application of electric stimulation to accomplish uh, therapeutic uh, purposes. Now, some of the names you will read in the literature or in the, or in the textbooks uh, that are associated with uh, electrotherapy are, uh, for example, NIMS, which is, stands for Neuromuscular Electrical um, Stimulation, or TENS, Transcutaneous Electric Nerve uh, Stimulation, or ASTR, which stands for Electric uh, Stimulation for Tissue Repair. That's also known as um, uh, High Voltage Galvanic Stimulation and that's usually used for uh, wound healing and uh, tissue repair. FES, which is a functional electric stimulation. And uh, some other names such as um, EMS, electric, uh, electrical muscle uh, stimulation. Now all, all of those are forms of electrotherapy, but with various uh, configuration and various um, intensities uh, of the electric uh, current. The next slide we will talk about uh, how uh, the conduction of uh, electricity uh, through the human tissue uh, and how it uh, produces therapeutic uh, manifestation. Now in its simplest form, electricity is, um, like you see in this battery here, is a collection of electrons that are negatively charged on the negative uh, pole of the battery. and lack of electrons on the positive side and it's in its simplest form the electricity once when you connect those two poles of the battery the electricity or the electric current will flow from one end of the battery to the other of course the circuit has to be uh, closed now if uh, somehow we can connect this battery of uh, or not necessarily the battery but the electric current to a human tissue we will uh, see, see some physical manifestations of that based on the physiological effect that this current, the electric current, uh, does to the human tissue. So if we connect this electric current to an electrode on the positive side and we do the same thing on the negative side and the electricity or the electric current will basically does this it will do the same thing it will run from the negative to the positive and in doing that it will produce a depolarization of the nerves in that area and if the electrodes are placed correctly you will see some uh, action potential and you will see some movement of those muscles now, if it only works in that uh, simplicity, it will be really easy, but it doesn't. So that's why the placement of the electrodes, the size of the electrodes, and how many electrodes you use, and how much electric current uh, you need, is uh, that's why you need to basically get more training on electrotherapy to produce the desired effect. So in the coming slides, we will talk about the placement and the size of the electrodes and also we will talk about the different types of electric uh, uh, current and the frequency of the currents. Now the rule of thumb you need to uh, know about placing electrodes is there is a rule called smoke over fire so this is the red electrode which is positively charged and this is your uh, this is the red one that's positively charged and this is your black one that's negatively charged. The rule of thumb is the red ones go distal and in this picture here it's closer to the hand and the negative ones will go proximal and this is closer to the elbow. So this is what is known as your smoke which is smoke is usually colored or uh, colored black or gray goes over fire which is red. Now in, in some cases it does matter, in some cases it does not. This uh, smoke over fire configuration 
is um, almost works, almost always works, except of course in the quads in the lower extremity it's uh, reversed. This slide here goes over the sizes of the electrodes, 2 by 2, 2 inches by 2 inches, 2 inches by 4 inches, circular, oval, uh, there are much bigger electrodes, there are much smaller electrodes. The, the very smaller electrodes that I have seen they're usually used by speech therapists for what is known as vital stim, vital stimulation, and they're usually placed on the neck area to um, facilitate the swallowing muscles in, in the mouth and in the neck area. Uh, what you need to know about the size of the electrode, that it does, it does matter, the size of the electrode matters. The smaller the electrode, the more intensity the client will feel. The, more, the smaller the electrode, the more the electric impulse or current will uh, be felt by the client. So if you have a one by one uh, electrode and you have, let's say, four by four electrode and they are both running the same electric current the, on the same uh, area of the forearm, for, let's say, the one by one will feel way more intense, much more intensity of the electric current. It will be more concentrated, basically. In the 4x4, four four, it will be more dispersed and, and less concentrated. Um, hence, you need to know what size of electrode um, you use. Now, in this slide here, this is a cross-section of the human body, actually. Um, and this would be the skin. This will be the fatty tissue. This will be the subcutaneous fascia and this one here would be, the last one would be your muscles. So the muscles are the tissue that we are trying to stimulate using electric stimulation. This slide here will demonstrate that the placement and the distance between the electrodes also uh, matters, just like the size of the electrode, also the placement and the distance between the electrodes uh, do matter. So, on on this side here, we're going to place two electrodes, a positive and a negative. And we are placing them uh, with a big distance in between them, let's say four or five inches. Now, as the electric current goes from the negative to the positive, because they are placed far away, the electric current has to go travel deep into the tissue, which means it's going to stimulate deeper muscles. And again, this is a rule of thumb. Um, in areas of uh, superficial muscles, like in the forearm, in the hand, um, that will make a difference. I mean, the muscles are already superficial, so to speak. But in other areas, like the back and the the thigh with, or with a um, lot of fatty tissue, you have to make sure that the, the current travels deeper, so you have to place your electrodes further away. On this side here, the same client in the same area, but the electrodes are closed much more superficial, and the current will travel, but it will be traveling more superficial than on this side here when the electrodes are placed too far. So a closer distance travels more superficial, further distance travels uh, more deep, the electric current. In this slide here we will talk about the uh, common uh, configuration of uh, electrodes. The most common one uh, would be using two electrodes or what is called uh, bipolar placement. So you got an electrode here negative and an electrode here that is positive and the affected and the the electrons travel in between, the affected area that is being treated is the area in between. So this is your target tissue, basically. Now, the other configuration, so this is using two electrodes. The other configuration will be using four electrodes, and four electrodes will be crisscrossed. This is one, and this is two. So this is the same channel. So in this case, you're using two channels, channel one with two electrodes, channel two with two electrodes on the opposite, and your target tissue is the area in between. Now, when do you use two and when do you use four? It depends on, 
on your client and the protocol and how, how much muscles you're trying to stimulate or your target area basically and that's why that's why again you need more training on on doing that but keep in mind that you know those are the same channel and this is the, another channel and they're crisscrossed and the target tissue is that tissue in, in between basically this is your target tissue the following slide we will talk about the different uh, wave uh, form or current uh, different wave forms for um, electrotherapy um, uh, the first wave form that we will talk about is uh, straightforward uh, direct current and um, this is here is the time this is here is the name of the, the waveform and direct current is basically you turn the electric electricity or electric stimulation on and it stays on as the time goes on the second one is what is called um, monophasic and monophasic um, is a waveform that have a single phase and uh, it goes into one direction and it will look like this so you have a single phase that goes up and it dies down it goes up again and it's called monophasic because uh, it is uh, it goes in one direction basically so on off on and off the next one is called biphasic and biphasic as the name implies it has two opposite uh, phases so it has a single phase that's in this direction and the electric electricity or electric current reverses direction it goes into the opposite direction it dies down it goes up in the opposite direction dies down the opposite direction and off and on opposite direction and off and so forth and that's what is called a biphasic uh, number four is called uh, medium frequency uh, alternating alternating uh, current uh, also known as interferential or uh, Russian current um, Russian current I think it's called Russian because the Russian athletes used to um, utilize that for mu muscle building and training and what it is it's a series of uh, pulses delivered as a single uh, charge so what you have is uh, basically first waveform burst of three or four phases uh, delivered as a single charge so basically it will look like this it has very intense pulse dies down intense pulse and dies down and another intense pulse and it dies down and it's called again Russian or uh, medium frequency uh, alternating current or interferential All right, the fifth one is called uh, pins uh, which is if you will patterned um, stimulation and in this case you're running four electrodes uh, on think think agonist antagonist for example biceps will be hooked up to one and then the antagonist of that will be the triceps and what you will see in this case is one muscle firing and it dies off and as this current dies off the other muscle which is the antagonist will fire and it will die off so one muscle will be working the other one will be working and then the other one will be off and the antagonist will be on and while the other one is off so it's called patterned and it's um, it is uh, intended for neuromuscular uh, re-education for example in biceps triceps like I said flexion extension of the of the elbow or in uh, gait uh, pattern and, and physical uh, in physical therapy uh, firing of different muscles all right. I, will, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please email, and uh, the next uh, presentation hopefully will be over uh, clinical application of uh, electric stimulation.